Look who we found, Jess in her own apartment. Hey. So we're gonna leave a little description. Uh, Guys, come and check out my the hashtag thief on Instagram, please. I need some more followers. Yes, I'll leave that in the description below. And today we're gonna be doing a milk bath shoot. Uh, Jess is gonna be our lovely model. Lucky for us, she's also a photographer, so she actually has a lot of gear in her home, including lights. Uh, we'll show you in a second our little setup, but first I want to cover a few tips. Rather than using 100 liters of milk, we went out and bought some corn flour. About half a kilo of corn flour is enough for a typical English bath. The other thing you need to consider is baths, especially in England, are almost never next to a window, so there's not enough light. So you really need either getting a flash for a camera or setting up some lights. Ideally, you want to have some lights so you know exactly where it is and just keep it all consistent. The other thing you want to make sure you have is different outfits for the shoot and get some props to throw in. Maybe some flowers, um, some models. Yeah, some extra models, you know, never know, for fun. Um, lastly, make sure that you have different lenses to get their different focal lengths so you can crop in or have a wide shot. It's easier to quickly change the lens while the model is in the same position, otherwise your wife is gonna get cold, the model's gonna get cold, and it's gonna get just all go downhill from there. Lastly, just go and experiment and see what you get out of it. It's probably a good idea to have some extra corn flour, just in case you need to top it up or actually change the bath because you spend four hours taking pictures and now everybody's cold. Also, consider this. Because bathrooms are normally small, and especially if you've got lights around, try not to trip over because that would just be a hot mess. Other than that, go and enjoy. 